Hi guys, this is Jermaine Hill. In today's video, we're going to discuss 230 Harmony. We just sold that property. That project is complete and it didn't go exactly the way we planned. Uh, we didn't make as much money that we wanted. Matter of fact, we actually lost money in this deal. And we're going to discuss some of the takeaways that we learned from this latest flip project. Okay, so what happened and why did we end up not making as much money as we wanted to actually losing money on this deal and what went wrong well number one we did not buy the property right we bought it at a too high of a price and during the negotiating with the previous seller we offered originally ninety thousand dollars for the property i was willing to go up to ninety five thousand but he was stuck at a hundred and five thousand dollars that's what he wanted to sell it for and if I would have stuck to my guns and not overpay for this property, that would have saved us down the road. The second thing that mistake that we made in this project was going over our rehab budget. So our rehab budget was $35,000. Uh, so when I did the walkthrough before we bought the property, that's what I estimated as far as what it would cost in materials and labor to complete the project. Honestly, we end up being around $55,000 for the total rehab cost. So I truly underestimated more so the cost of materials more so than anything. And because, and I'll talk about this, we had to go in and fix a lot of the work that had, that was already done by the previous crew, our labor budget increased dramatically. So second lesson learned, went over budget. And that's one of the things that you want to make sure that you do is stay under budget because if you do that will also help you to not only make a good profit at the end of the day but if you understand what your true cost is going to be that will help you in negotiating the price that you need to buy the property at third lesson that we learned from this project was we hired the wrong crew we hired a crew that did some work for us for some previous projects that we had but we never hired this crew to do work to this scale, to this magnitude. Remember, I told you the budget for this project was $35,000 and we never hired them to do a project of this size. And so that was our mistake there, uh, which led into them performing work that was not really up to our standards when the dust settled. And so because of that, we actually had to hire a second crew to come in and finish the work after the crew was done. And that led for more time delays and having to spend more money because now I had to pay for a second crew to come in and repair the work that was previously done. The fourth lesson we learned from this project was we did not manage the project effectively. And that starts with me. I'm the project manager, I'm the business owner. I am managing that particular uh, rehab project and I should have been more keen on the work that was being done and making sure that it was being done to the quality and the standards that we set place at Freedom Hill Properties. And that is really the biggest reason why this project did not go according to plan, why we were over budget, why we hired the wrong crew and why we end up losing money. Here's some tips that I think is gonna help our company moving forward to ensure that we stay on track, that we stay within budget, and that we do not lose money in the future. And so the first tip is you gotta make sure that you buy the property right on the front end. So you really truly do make your money on the buy. And that was the first mistake that we end up making on this latest project. And so moving forward, you always wanna make sure you stick to your numbers. And so when you analyze a deal and when you, your analysis tell you you have to be at a certain price point, stick to it. Because if you don't, it's gonna bite you in the end. The second tip is making sure that we vet our contractors more effectively. For this project, I actually did interview about four to five different contractors. The contractor that we end up choosing the first go around was second to the last as far as their bid that came in. And the second thing 
is making sure that we get more pictures as far as work that they've done in the past. Now I did see some pictures that he showed me through his phone, but I should have pressed more to ask for more pictures regarding the type, the scope of work that we're gonna be completing for this project. And then also drilling them more on the size projects that they've done in the past. I think pressing more on these items in the future will help us to make sure that we hire uh, the right contractor for the job. Tip number three, make sure you focus on projects that align with your business objective. So this project was a bit out of scope of what we have normally been doing. Our previous split projects, we bought them number one at a good price. And then number two, they didn't require an extensive rehab project like this one. And thirdly, we were not trying to sell it at retail price. The goal was to go in, do some light rehabs or just clean it out and then put it on the market, maybe slightly below retail, but this one we were trying to get retail price. And when you mix all those things together, this is what led um, to this project not being as successful. And tip number four, it's make sure that you learn from your mistakes and don't repeat them. And so with this project, we know the type of properties and the type of projects that we are going to focus on moving forward and the type of projects that we're no longer gonna be doing. And this was a good learning experience. It cost us in the end, but that's okay. You win some, you lose some in this business, and you just wanna make sure that you win more than you lose. And so with our next video, we're gonna go through behind the numbers and kind of look at the total expenses, costs of this project, and then how much money we end up eventually losing on this project. And so if you like these type of videos, please like and subscribe. And until next time.